Okay. Ah, oh, there we go. Why is All right, Barbara guys. Black. Barbara Ann's like, cover me. I'm going to cast this ritual spell. I need ten <laughs> minutes. We're in the middle of combat. <laughs> no, <laughs> guys. I'm calling us. We are live. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> uh, it has been I'm banging the drums now. <laughs> we have been. We were away last week due to uh, a couple of people Illness. being under the weather, and that's completely fine. But we are all back this week in time to uh, explore Dinox's homeland and see what. Yeah. What is in store for our players there? Okay, so first off, we need to put Cardin on a leash so he doesn't go against the Tarask. But well, don't tell him about it. Just don't tell me about it, and then we're fine. <laughs> exactly. So, And if he does, make sure we're a mile away. Oh, he's <laughs> going to find out. Bob, I going to take out his rope and start preparing like a lasso. <laughs> oh, I thought I thought you were gonna say like a baby harness, but you know, uh, a baby harness would work. But I don't think I'll be able to throw that over him if he starts running. Well, the the, the baby know. harness you just attach to him. You you just attach it to him. Oh, when he, he's got thirty. You, he's but, got the length of your rope, and then it's done. But with those big rippling muscles, are you sure that can hold him? We'll find out. Uh, who wants to do the <laughs> recap from two My weeks baby. ago? <laughs> If anybody, anyone. Anybody? Nobody? Oh, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> Since nobody else wants to. Um, Go for it. A brief recap. So, um, for those of you who were not with us the entire time of 38 sessions ago, um, brief recap of, of uh, our world of moon dust. Uh, about 2,000 years ago, the surface world was overrun by demons, so we all ascended to the sky on floating islands. Then, after 2,000 years had passed, everybody's island believed that it was the only existing island. But then uh, some weird magic mishap stuff happened, and this brave group of adventurers ended up together on one island that nobody recognized. Um, further exploration, found we found that... Uh, we were actually on a different island, and there were several other islands out there, and we all hailed from different locations, except for Cardin. He's special. He came from the surface. We didn't know there were people still on the surface. So um, fast forward a few months, and uh, a cloud giant fortress falls into our laps. Not literally, thank God. Um, but we essentially cleared it out, did some renovations so it's fit for human, humans, did, did a whole bunch of mass hiring, and then we took off, went flying away. And now we, we have just landed on Dinox home, which is a totally different island from where, we, where any of us have been, except for Dinox. This is home. <laughs> um, Better have visited there, there, this place. Well, yeah. And then there have been uh, some other shenanigans that happened. If you, if you want the full story... I'm not. I'm not going to be in the, the whole story. You're going to have to uh, go back and watch 38 sessions worth. <laughs> plot, plot twist: We never actually left the parallel woods. <gasps> We're not talking about the parallel woods right now. We're talking about. Alanar, you're not supposed to ruin the campaign. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Um, <laughs> on a fun side note, um, I am a sorcerer that has that has difficulty controlling my magic, and in a bid for power and control, I uh, got myself a patron saw, and now I'm also part warlock. Yes. Great job. That's Take your point of in inspiration. I shall use it to inspire myself or others. Good. Uh, also, <laughs> I am making a slight addendment to the inspiration system here that we have been using for the last, oh, I don't know, ten episodes or whatever. <gasps> um... <gasps> Yes. <gasps> I'm sorry. That was a, that was a gasp of excitement. Okay. Well, like you know, dun dun dun. I'm in time. Okay. You're yeah. You're just being weird. Um. <laughs> <laughs> when is, is he not? When is he not? When it's my sleeping. job. It's <laughs> we are. I am Either going way, to. We're a group of six fully grown, 
fully adult grown men uh, playing D and playing pretend online. How are all of us not weird? I have kids. That's my excuse. <laughs> I have to be weird. I, I have a kid too. What's your what's your point is invalid. My point is very valid. Yours doesn't talk yet. Mine do. Well, <laughs> eh, that's debatable. Anyway, uh, inspiration, so we can get into this tonight. Um, it is no longer going to vanish after a session. You will have that inspiration until you use it. The downside to this, however, though, is until you use it, you can no longer gain another one. Fair enough. So, hmm. this will be the this will kind of be the trade off um, that I'm using just because we've been doing the, we've been doing the inspirations for like ten sessions, roughly. I don't want to go back and count, so y'all can figure it out. And I don't think anybody's used one yet. So, I have, I have a couple times. Oh, um, well, it's, it's I found to like reroll you your. I wasn't allowed to use it to uh, negate a critical hit. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's for your rolls. Anytime you roll a d20, yeah. I will allow you to use your inspiration. Wait, is that before or after I know the result? Well, you know the result instantly because of because of roll 20, but it, it's... Yes... I mean, Basically, like, like if, I roll, if you tell me, if like you I roll tell a save me, and I don't know the DC, and then you're like, "Oh, that's a fail." Uh, inspiration. <laughs> so it, it's going to be a little, it's it's going to be a little loosey goosey with that because you can use it because there are sometimes when it's like sixteen fail, you know, it's really quick. You don't have an have a an an opportunity to uh, say. That, but if you but if you were to if you were to roll say a sixteen or whatever, and you don't think that's quite high enough, and you want to re-roll and do if you can get better, you can say I would like to use it, or if I've already said pass or fail, you could say would you allow me to use my inspiration point? And Fair enough. It'd be it'd so be, we'll play it by like you. Kind yeah, basically it's 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 okay. one of those things where there's no exact science for it, so we'll have a. Uh, I have to play it right here. We're playing a game about magic. Yes, science matters. It does. And we're going to find out why that is tonight. Because the one yeah. that you kind of left out about from your recap is as you guys spent the night on the, uh, the, ta- the um, flying fortress, I think you guys named it, uh, Laputa. 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 Uh, your fortress, Laputa. You guys spent the night there. Uh, Dinox spent time with his brother, uh, Bob- Boban? Boblin. Boblin. I have notes somewhere. I also have a child in my arms, so it's difficult. Uh, <laughs> um, and you guys spent the night there. However, Dinox had this weird sense. Uh, throughout his rest that something was off. Something was different about the island and he wasn't, you were not sure what it was in the um, before heading to bed that evening. But as you guys all come to and begin waking up for the day, I want everyone just kind of here immediately to make a, a, a just a general wisdom check. Oh shit! And I'm gonna okay. roll for card. And I'm gonna roll for card. Awesome. Luke. He is not up yet. <laughs> really? Ooh, look at that nineteen. Gosh, nice. Dude. Heaven and nice. hell. Heaven <laughs> and hell. Heaven first. Yes. Oh wait, no, that is a fourteen. Cool mind. Wait, no, not save. Nope, so. not save. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I believe that's... Yeah, that's every... Okay. I've already rolled for you, uh, uh, Carden, so don't worry about it. Okay, thanks. Now that you're My, finally um... joining the game. 
my uh, computer is running like stupidly slow right now, so that's why. That's fine. So yeah, we're nine nine nineteen seven natural twenty seventeen. Wow. <laughs> so the two Kalish stars fail. Everybody else. <laughs> everybody else. You have this weird feeling where that you are being watched and the hairs Isn't on the back normal? of your and the hairs on the back of your neck begin to bristle uh not by anybody Ooh, you hold on not well okay what happens with me huh what happens with me i've got scales no hair yeah so yours is more <laughs> like yours is more like a um itch under like the scales kind of almost like a slight tremor if you would a chill. um yeah and it you can definitely tell that it's not coming from within the actually Dinoc would be able to tell this because of the natural 20 um this feeling of being watched is definitely not coming from within the fortress that you guys are currently residing with Okay, on that note, I'm going to start looking around my room to see if there's anybody spying on me. Cause Make I a perception know. check. Perception. Uh, honestly, that makes sense after just waking up. <laughs> I mean, you look around, you seem to be the only one in your room. I'll just shake it off to being tired then. I dread having to wake up. Okay. And what are the rest of you doing? I guess Besides I'm dropping go things. Okay. You head off to the canteen area of the fortress to get breakfast. I'm assuming the rest of you gather and join him as well. I need yep. that coffee. Hopefully we're not out of the, sto the coffee stores yet. Um, let me roll for that. Mm, let me oh get shit. my dice out for that. Uh-oh. Oh, I just looked around and realized... I just looked around and realized I didn't even have my dice out. Whoops. Look at the DM not having dice. Oof. I mean, I, I have plenty. It's just I didn't have them out. Uh, is he cutting out for anyone else? Yeah. He's away Sorry, from his mic a little bit. Yeah, I was away from my mic. I was like, I have, pl I have plenty. I just didn't have, uh, have them out. Them out. It would appear you guys... that your new mic has noise cancellation, and it's like, I don't like the sound of your voice being over there, so I'm going to cut it out. Well, between that and Discord's own function of noise, of, uh, noise suppression, and et cetera, et cetera. Ah, uh, yeah. So, uh, yes, Thinking you guys Discord. are still... <laughs> you guys still have plenty of, of coffee stores to... What the heck is that? Uh, sorry, um, my, uh, my notebook is ringing for some reason. Your notebook is ringing? <laughs> I don't know, magic? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, that actually wasn't me. me. I am sorry. <laughs> that was me. I am so sorry. Um. I told you, I need my coffee. <laughs> yes, you guys are still, you guys still have quite, quite a supply of coffee. Thank the gods. You know, we have a coffee shop chain here in town. I only believe in coffee. Wait, wait. Is that Dinoc standing next to me? Yeah. You guys are heading okay. towards the canteen. Oh, I didn't realize he was going with me. I, uh, thought I, I was would assume along. all of you guys are going for breakfast. Oh. We all woke up about the same time. You usually do. After spending about right. three months with one another, your internal clocks are kind of synced. Okay. Fair enough. Then in that case, uh, 
Why go the? I I need my coffee now before I leave the fortress, though, because I don't know how far it is to can to your coffee shop. You have a whole shop dedicated to just coffee. Wait a minute. It's an entire store chain. Yep. What's it called? Is it called Starbucks? <laughs> no, because of branding f- issues. No. <laughs> it's called Tarascan Calf. <laughs> hmm. Well, no offense Some... to Tarascan Calf. I'd assume that the coffee here's free, and we'd have to pay at that one. Oh, well, yeah, but yes. at the same time, you can get just about anything there. Mm. Any kind Do of combination have... of coffee, cream, any kind of toppings you want. Hell, they've got Do donuts. They... Do they have pepper? Uh, wait, nope. wait. What's a donut? <laughs> Green pepper coffee. <laughs> No, no, I was going to say peppermint, but then I heard donut? What is that? It is a fried... It's not quite a pastry, but it's... It's very delicious. It's fried in oil. Hmm. And it's usually fairly sweet, depending on what you get on it. Hmm, sweets with peppermint coffee. Hmm. You know, or you can get... Got- you can get it dipped in a uh, maple syrup and have bacon on it. Ooh, I don't know about that. But Dinoch looks to you in t- horror and pure disgust. You vile heathen! I'm sorry, I don't have dragon taste buds, but you sold me on the idea of the coffee at least. Yeah, okay. I mean, look, look Dinoc like is my coffee really now, about but... coffee. <laughs> I'd like to have my coffee now, but if it'll be worth the wait and nobody else cup. objects. Get a cup now and we can go over there for one, too. They've got decaf. You know, I never understood the idea of d- decaf coffee, but when you put it that I way, still don't. I can have my coffee. It's yeah, flavored. I can. But then I can have flavored coffee without the, the extra jitteriness later. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. I like that idea. By the way, did anyone else feel like they're being watched this morning? You, you mean I wasn't the only one? Eh. It's, fu- it's funny you would bring that up because I had this odd feeling that somebody was in my room and I was I looked around even under the pillows but <laughs> I didn't see anything of course don't I'm also it, I don't I'm think it's from hazy. inside the fortress what or who could be watching us well there's multiple different answers to that I, I, uh, I mean, leader of our gods group, could be spying on us uh huh yeah uh, leaders of the island they've got strying um, probably either the Levi- the uh, either the Leviathan or the Tarask, who my people venerate. Uh, let's see. No, none of those answers are comforting to me. Hmm. <laughs> Did it feel malicious to you? Ooh, there's a question. DM. Hmm. Hmm. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let your natural I'm gonna let your natural twenty ride a little bit longer here. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it. Uh, hmm. I, I'm looking for the right word. I don't know what it is. It. It. It's more. It feels more protective and curious than anything. More like a, what is this? What has come to my place? Do I need to destroy it? Kind of a kind of. So a not vibe. outright hostile, but <clears throat> definitely territorial is probably the best way I can describe it. 
to Katia, I'll say, not outright hostile. Not that I can tell. Well, that makes me feel a little bit better. So we can safely go to the coffee shop and not have to worry about getting, you know, stabbed. Most yeah. likely. Also, Dinoch, uh, make a perception check for me. Perception? Twelve. Twelve. As you're... As you're kind of digging, uh, kind of like standing up after you guys have kind of... As you guys are sitting down and taking in, kind of taking stock as you guys have gotten your, your morning food and coffee, um, notice your spell book is missing. Uh, patting myself down. Mm -hmm. Make another perception check for me. <laughs> I'm getting scared. I'm getting scared. That's two nat twenties. Okay. Oh god. You know exactly well, where you usually keep it, but he didn't know. He did not roll very high. So, uh, you're. You watch as your brother is currently trying to stuff your spell book inside of uh, Katya's, like, uh, satchel. Damn it, Boblin! Uh, you see him, like, what? deer in headlights catch you, catch as he runs, or as, as he looks at you, and as Katya reacts, he just drops the book, uh, the book, hey. and r bolts. <laughs> hey, get out of my pack! <laughs> uh, he's gone. I'll do it. I do he's have laughing. a question. Do I actually yep. recognize it as Dinox Spellbook? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Because I don't know if I've ever seen him like actually using it. Um, like, yeah. Whenever he's uh, like casting, there are times when he's when he yeah. pulls the book out in order to like. Okay. Use magic, but you definitely see it like on short and long rest when he's using the book to recover spell slots and to prepare new spells okay. for the day. So you've seen well, it. I'll, well, I'll pick it up and I'll hand it back to Dinoch and ask why was he trying to give it to my? Get, why was he trying to shove it in my pack? Yeah, uh, he's a prankster. He rolled pretty well on taking it from you too. <laughs> I mean, yep. imagine if he had been successful. Would you have been mad at me thinking that I took it? Nah, no one bobbling. I'd probably guess he did it. Okay. I'm glad that you trust me that much. He's Touch done it winks. quite a few times. You'd have to start using your scales to count if, that, if, uh, if you had to be honest. <laughs> we could get the pliers out. <laughs> So, you guys begin making your way into town. Uh, are you guys planning on stopping by Dinox's abode first, or are you guys heading directly into coffee, town for then. coffee? Okay. Coffee, then home. Then okay. we'll go home. Um, as you begin to pass by where you would turn off to uh, go to your home, Dinox, from this area... Um, Bo uh, Boblin does uh, tell you, inform you that he's got to go, uh, but he'll let mom and dad know that you're you'll be by in probably half an hour or so. Mm -hmm. Um. So you lead them to the what did you say, Tarask and Calf? Yep. Coffee shop, or it's uh, just T and C. Oh, I like okay. it. Okay. Okay. Uh, there is a bit of a line, but there is not, it's not a super long, uh, line when you get to the one closest to where you and your family live. It is definitely a... Man, you are trying to talk. <laughs> <laughs> he wants coffee and donuts. <laughs> he is way too young for that. But... It is a, uh, out where you are, it is a small little, uh, I don't want to say hovel, because it looks really nice. The building itself is very immaculate, um, but it's not very big. Um, it, it would look like a hovel um, from a distance, and if it was made of, like, poor quality material, but as you guys get close, you guys can see 
the high quality wood and the sturdy almost wow. stone structure that is supporting the roof and out front there is this almost floating um this floating almost pixie dust like array of words that in in common uh, are just kind of floating and every so often would cha will change to another uh, series of words and then it would repeat and you see different Ooh. and you see different uh words that you most of you have never seen before uh, words like uh, cappuccino and latte and triple pump. What language is and that? It's it's all common from from what you know. Well, I'm going to take notes of the the way that they use the that they use magic, or I'm assuming is magic, to make this these uh, words display, because I've never. My island has never thought of anything like that, and I want to use that for myself later. We can get you a stone that does that. <clears throat> Wait, there's a it's, stone for that? Well, specifically, it's an item that has been inscribed with that spell. Oh. Dinoch, you would know, Please tell me being, more. The, being, being the coffee fanatic that you are, <clears throat> uh... In order to reproduce something like this, it's a very simple use of something either like presidentation or even minor illusion. Oh. But they I just mean... have it. They just have it on these. You just know that they have it inscribed into like these small stones that are probably recessed into the building a little bit itself, and it just yeah, loops. Uh, these are That's the only things that it so displays. Much more... Go ahead. <laughs> I was gonna say that's the only thing it displays, but it will constantly do this for about eight hours, and then it needs to recharge, um, which takes a night. I mean, the alternative is having some guy stand on the roof and do the same thing for eight hours, and that's tiring. <laughs> So that's that's pretty efficient. What can I procure one of these? Mm, they're a little on the expensive side sometimes, depending on what you get into them. Mm. But yeah, generally there's a uh, store somewhere that has something like that. Okay. Uh, the end. Do you not remember a good place? Uh, probably the local magic store, which I am currently trying to fish for. By the um, way, blind, we are hearing every single sound you're making. Of course, now he stops making noise. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was trying to get everything situated. We heard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, apparently, I did not give that place a name. So you're you probably know, looking. It? Well, it's a. It, this would be probably like a a subsidiary a sub of the. <laughs> The June uh, family abode, um, so it's probably ran by like, pff, like a fourth cousin or something like that. Dinoc, um, mm -hmm. blind. If you keep making noise, I'm going to mute you. Um, and the and the closest one would be in the 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 future ward where you currently are within. Um, ran by a. Uh, Probably honestly a a uh, <laughs> probably an old classmate, um, Dorcas. <laughs> I love uh -huh. it. Uh huh. Yep. Um, at least probably the last you knew would probably be the best place to do it. Um, it's probably something like the store itself is probably something along uh, 
like June Innovations or something along along that. They, they own tons and tons of stores. Uh, it's hard to keep them all straight at times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, <clears throat> one of my fairly distant cousins might have a selection of stuff you could buy. I might oh, have to warning. Exercise. Hmm? Just warning, he's not your typical uh, merchant, shall we say. What do you mean by that? <clears throat> Nothing. Just when you meet him, don't be too hasty. I might have to exercise some restraint because I might find myself wanting to buy out this store. But we'll see. Yeah. Oh, was it out loud? I'm sorry. Do you, do you think you have enough money to buy out a store? Um, at least until my pockets run dry. <laughs> you might not even be able to buy a trinket. Uh, I was no, I... so so above game. I was actually low key worried about you guys coming to Dinox place first because uh, of how overpowered you could become early game and then I was like, oh, I solved that problem by giving you guys next to no money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> hey, I didn't even do it on purpose. I'm just that good. <laughs> <clears throat> it doesn't have to we spend all of our money trying to make our, our fortress actually fly. Yeah. Also, well. this is high tech, high magic stuff, you know, enchanted. Yeah, as you guys are walking around, you guys are seeing these other other were otherwise impossible magic items and magical feats that are just being performed while people are just doing daily activities. Ooh. Um, there ah <laughs> You see a mm -hmm. person pulling a cart without wheels. It's floating. <gasps> you see people you see people holding small devices up to their ear and having a conversation with what appears to be no one. You see others Do like not, running are it, Is everybody here crazy and you know talk to themselves? <laughs> nope. You remember <clears throat> how I was telling you Devices that allow you to talk to someone on the other side of the world? Yes. That right there's the device. That tiny thing? No. Yep. Uh-huh. Well, is I wouldn't magic? say the world. It's more like the island because... Well, uh, we think that is the world. <laughs> well, yeah, to it's them that is the world. Yeah, fair enough. We theorize gotcha. the other side of the world. Yeah, 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 fair enough. Well, this is what I'd call witchcraft, but all things considered. <laughs> I, I don't want I don't want to hear it, Mr. I'm a cleric. <laughs> also, has Brian stopped making noise? I muted him. As am I. It is confusing. But you said it's magic powered? Yes, with technology. Technology. Uh, <clears throat> think a catapult you, a thousand times more complex. Do you have one of these devices? Honestly, yeah, it's probably back at home. I left it on the charger, so I don't know if it's. Huh. Uh. Well. When we get to that point, I'd like to examine it. See if I can uh, find out uh -oh. what you mean by technology. And Katya does air quotes. <laughs> uh, did we lose blind? We did. We lose blind. That was blind. I'm sure he'll no, be bl back. Invisible. I'll throw him what? in a message. Okay. So... As you guys are waiting in line at the Tarascan Calf, what does everybody want to drink? Whatever is the least pronounceable, I want that. 
Hmm. Oh. Oh. Did you have something in mind? <laughs> Before he can order, I say, you want the unicorn. The unicorn? You want the unicorn. But that's easily to, to pronounce. That can't be the fanciest thing they've got. <laughs> Do you want okay. like sweet? Well, yeah. Do you like sugar in it's excessive in same... quantities? I don't know about that. That would be a little too sweet, don't the you think? Is yes. <laughs> it's a pretty drink. I think it'll oh, be pretty. good for your first coffee from my home. It, and it is coffee. It's a decaf. It's not... <clears throat> Can it be made decaf? Yes. Thank you, yeah. voice from nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> someone, behind, someone behind us in line. Oh, I was about to say, it's it's a woman's intuition. Okay. I suppose, if you're, if you're recommending it, it can't be terrible. Ask them for the unicorn frappuccino. For, fra, for, p. Do you want me to order for you? Pronounce that word again. Frappuccino. Frappuccino, gotcha. <laughs> okay, the unicorn frappuccino, the unicorn crappuccino are two totally different drinks. I got to stop you there. Well, well they... <coughs> are you are you serious? I oh, have to use Vlad. Now, a... will you step up and order your drink, or get out of the way and let the rest of us order? Oh, oh, it's our turn. Yeah, by uh... the way, yeah, there's a uh, <laughs> Goblin Run location that or sells a. Uh, Crappuccino. Yeah. <laughs> so that's not here, that's in a different place. Yes. Okay, so okay, if yeah. I ask for a Crappuccino here, they're going to look at me confused. They're going to tell you, you need to go me. somewhere else. Or... <laughs> okay, Dinoc, maybe you should just order for me, because I can't pronounce half the words here. <clears throat> Alright, so we'll take one unicorn Frappuccino, two regular cappuccinos, and I'll take a Let's go with a latte. Okay. I want a unicorn frappuccino. Okay, we'll change one of those to that and have two uni unicorn frappuccinos. Um, well, no, you, I the two, the two on, cappuccinos are for my... Uh, Valnor wants to literally just ask them for the weirdest thing they can make. <laughs> okay. The two frappuccinos are for your parents? Is that what you were saying? Yes, I'm getting them to go. Okay. To go. I think that's every. I think that is everybody. Uh, does Cardin want anything? I see he's back in chat. But muted. Yeah. We're just gonna give him a latte with double pump. Oh, he unmuted. I don't think your mic works, bud. Oh no. Have you tried unplugging you it? Order and plugging it back in? <laughs> He, he orders coffee. Um, when you guys see this um, female tabaxi kind of standing uh, behind uh, the counter taking your order, um, kind of like writing it down, and then Kay does a little what? bit of math in her head. Um, that'll be about five gold pieces for all the drinks. We eat it all together. All right, five, you said? Yeah, literally, it would there come out go. to be about a. Yeah, you just pay it. Mm-hmm. Okay. First, you know, okay. my treat. First time home. Gotcha. Um, and you watch as her and these other mm -hmm. uh, three individuals who are also tabaxi, uh, but their patterns are so different. The the first one um, was this like normal kind of house cat with this like tan. Um, coat uh and this faint white underbelly uh but these other ones these are uh, one of them is actually this 
fairly fit uh, male tabaxi who is working um, in... He looks really out of place. Uh, he almost looks lost and confused at times. Um, <laughs> you can see that he's fra uh, frantically looking around and following this other uh, tabaxi who is got this like black and gray kind of pattern uh, that kind of just spots their white normal coat um, and who is currently running around frantically making your guys' drinks um, while uh, this other small tabaxi uh, lady who, uh, with these glasses, a thick kind of gray, almost blue, gray, almost blue colored um, fur a coat, uh, steps up to the counter to take the next order behind you guys as they all begin to, uh, the rest of them begin to ta uh, make your drinks. And within moments your guys's drinks are prepared and made and are hmm. sitting on the counter ready for you Tinoch, i have one question yes if this place is run by cat people how come none of them are wearing hair nets <clears throat> another magic thing oh yeah trust so me we've magically... already thought of we already thought of that and we already have spells in place for it I'm glad, because if I get a hair in my drink, I might be sick. I think I'm allergic to cat people. Oh, that's disappointing. Okay. And believe me, if I start sneezing, I might blow this place down. <laughs> Just saying. Just don't cast any magic. I wrap a knuckle say... against the wall as we pass. Yeah, we've got other people with weird magics. Nothing. I've never seen a case like yours, but we've got people with unpredictable magics, and a lot of buildings are warded against that, too. Really? So, what you're saying is, no matter what I do, I can't destroy I, I'm going to stop you there. Not quite uh, that far. But there's been a lot of arguments between jilted lovers in places like this. And sometimes those people have good magic, including oh. fireballs. Oh. Someone say fireball? Talk, talk about your burning love. <laughs> As you guys take your first drink, uh, d knock yours is exactly the way you thought it would be, and remember it mm. being... Uh, There's a reason this place was always my favorite. <laughs> Uh, John and Katya, as you guys um, take your drink of this unicorn frappuccino, you Pink are immediately mm -hmm. you are immediately met with this odd sensation of sweet, um, like almost a berry of this. Actually, now that I think about it, you have never had this. Uh, neither one of you guys. Uh, it's <laughs> almost like this nope. slightly tangy uh, berry type as um, the blue begins to fill your mouth. And then as the pink uh, rises up, you taste this almost, almost like a watermelon kind of almost mixing as a slushy almost in your mouth and you can feel you can taste like the kind of caffeine that is in there as well as it begins to kind of it's mix decaf. into your mouth uh d -Noc did not order it as decaf oh crap <laughs> <laughs> this is um, be fun yep and it is sweet I did... and it's got I want to point out Yep. Unicorns are not very caffeinated. There's a low amount of caffeine in these. Yeah. They're it's mostly but like a sugar. fruit. It's mostly like a f it's mostly like a fruit base, so it's a natural sugar. So even if you do get like a sugar high, it's not nearly as intense or as long lasting as you would from like say candy um, or pure caffeine. Um and it is it is very, very tasty. Um, even without mm, understanding like or even without knowing what the other type of berry that was used in it is. It is 
it is a very strong taste, uh, but it is quite tasty. Uh, Valinar. I'm going to get about halfway and be like, uh, I mean, it's, it's pretty, but it's just not right for me. Hmm. That's Dinoc, weird. You know... Enoch, you know the berry that they're using is is uh, raspberry. Mm -hmm. So what's not about it? You too sweet? Sweet is okay for my wine, but this is supposed to be coffee, and I don't taste coffee. I taste everything but coffee. Hmm. Um. Do they sell, like, a peppermint coffee here? Peppermint flavor? Perhaps. Yeah, but that'll probably be another... Uh, oh, the line's getting a little long. Uh, well, John, if you're enjoying it, you you can have the rest of mine. I'm, I'm just not feeling it. I know my mom has a few teas at home. At least... <clears throat> but I appreciate the gesture. <clears throat> uh, Valinar, you asked for the weirdest thing they could make, right? Yes. Oh. Hmm. By your standards, this would definitely be weird. Um. You know that that thing that um. Uh, oh god, what's his name? Uh, H Homer Simpson's neighbor, Ned, I think it is. Uh, you know that hot chocolate that he made for Bart? Um, I don't watch Simpsons. Well, it's in the Simpsons movie. Um, you said it's hot chocolate? Well, it's hot choc- it, it, it looks like that, but it's coffee. Okay. Um, let's see. Coffee? What? I just looked up Sim Simpsons hot chocolate. Uh, let's see. Ned's hot cocoa. There we go. The heck? Did you find it? Um, maybe. It almost looks like it's ice cream, a wafer bar, and a marshmallow on top. Is what I found. Yeah, honestly, that's kind of what it is. Okay. Um, I will... <laughs> I will really fast just throw it... into the Discord here for you. Boop. Yep, that's what oh, I saw. Oh, jeez. Perfect. Yep. It, yeah, it looks like that, but it's coffee. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, and it tastes just as good and weird as it looks. Yes! <laughs> so, well, we've got your taste. <laughs> if you like that, you might like the matcha. Matcha. Maybe. Uh, I'm gonna I'll see love if, it, I can... if I ever stop drinking this one. <laughs> Uh, give me one second, and I will throw it into the general Discord as well. Don't need that in there. That way, others can enjoy the look of what this coffee looks like. Because it is definitely interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. Let's go. Hello! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just out of nowhere. We're discussing have... coffee right now. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know. On coffee. <laughs> you have. I, I've well, been listening. I just haven't. I had to restart everything. Wow. Cool. You have coffee, yeah, Discord, by the way. The Discord yeah, cut me out the... of the worst possible moments. I have that uh, vanilla latte thing, right? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys begin to follow Dinoc back to his home. Um, 
as you guys get to you guys actually follow him almost to the edge of the woods um and you guys begin to hear less of the city sounds and more of a countryside um what's the word i'm looking for manner i guess um, yeah and as you guys get to like what is this gated perimeter you guys um it's or, uh, not gated fence this dirt path leads into this small little cottage uh sitting within this fence that fences it in and on one of the gate uplifts you guys see this small okay i know you're back but oh wait who is that not i think exactly it, was... Who you thought I... it was yeah i was like don't i know you're back but stop fumbling everything all over your desk <laughs> i have a touchpad i can't i can't help it <laughs> <laughs> what are you touching? You, I'm not asking you to roll anything. You don't ask a man that question. <laughs> no. Man check. Uh, I was trying to go back. I don't have two screens on a laptop, so. Okay, so, uh, alt tab. Yeah. <laughs> Or how about I just keep my microphone on mute until I, uh... Yeah. There's a good oh, idea. That's, I've been trying to do that, but I don't know if it's actually working. No. <laughs> or, change, or change it to push to talk. Anyway. Uh, yeah. You guys, you guys are... Approaching it's working. This, okay. You guys are approaching this, uh, the gate, and there's a small cat um, sitting on... The, oh, no. the the post. Um, oh no! It looks like an it looks like an ordinary house cat until you begin to get closer, and you can see that the fur coloration of the cat itself looks almost identical to that of a uh, typical and common uh, lion or tiger. Sorry, tiger. Uh, not the cats. Yeah, you're probably going to have a bad time. Is your house full of cats? No, just one. And as you just guys one? get closer, the cat one kind is all of, we need. the The cat looks at you guys and just <gasps> and lets out this vicious, larger than the animal itself roar, almost identical to that of a tiger, and sits there wagging its tail. Is oh, it he missed me. Okay. What was that, Valinar? I was just asking uh, if that was like a playful uh, roar or like a get away from me roar. Make an uh, insight check. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 11. Uh, <laughs> not You're not that. sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Dinoch, you recognize this as kind of magic. What? Sorry. Uh, sorry. So, Dinoch, uh, this is your guys' house pet. Um, whatever you decide to name it. You... So, um, and technically, Dinoch, it is not magic. No, no, I was going to say, there's got to be some kind of magic that would allow me to... Uh, Katya stifles a sneeze. Uh, there's ironically... Be something that would make me not allergic. Ironically, uh, you don't have that sensation. Really? Mm-hmm. You're like, oh, no! Oh. You're like, oh, no, 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 no! Okay. <laughs> And, like, you brace yourself for it, but that feeling never comes. Oh. Oh, good. Awesome. I was worried. Because I am allergic to cats, but... Okay. Legira? 
You hear is a that... <laughs> auto game. Is that like the Liger? I just put it in the chat. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, okay. You can you you hear the faint purring of the cat as you begin to get closer. Oh, you missed me, didn't you, sweetie? As you kind of extend your your hand, it kind of rubs up against it and gives this faint the the faint. Yeah, I miss you too, sweetheart. Who's a good Again, girl? Hear, hmm? Who's a good girl? Again, you hear the purring. <laughs> All right, I guess introductions. Everyone, this is Lajira, uh, a cousin of mine. Gave her to me. Uh, this could also have been something that your parents created. If you understand what I'm saying. Oh. Based off of your uh, backstory there, d mm -hmm. Either way you want to swing it is fine by me. I'm just informing you that either way is perfectly okay. Yeah, so quick retcon. Your people definitely. This is a uh, pet my parents gave me. Your people really do have everything, including non-allergenic cats. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <clears throat> quick thing about what my, basically my father does and my mother helps him with. Uh, genetics. They go into what makes people tick, and they change it. Why would you want to do that? I... Hard I stares most... at Katya. Uh, <laughs> okay, so kind of the same thing that I do, but with living creatures. Yeah, and it makes beings like uh, Lajura here. Like you said, a non-allergenic cat. So I suppose uh, while I'm other here, than the thief breeds, there's oh. no such thing as a non-allergenic cat with fur. So, so, do you think that perhaps they could reach into whatever, reach inside of me, and pull out whatever it is that uh, makes me allergic uh, to cats? Uh, mm -hmm. You Maybe are not your sure. <laughs> Even Maybe better. Your do you think they could reach inside, find out what my issue is with my with why I'm stuck as a man, and fix that too? Uh, that one's going to be a little bit harder than what my parents can do. That may be uh, mm. that may be something you have to take up with your red scare thing. I guess I'll get around to that, but I it but... Won't have to ask. <laughs> As long as you're fine with my father poking and prodding you with all sorts of implements, including uh, cutting you open inside, uh, um, while you're still conscious, while you're still looking at what he's doing, you won't feel anything. You won't feel any pain. Yeah, you just won't be asleep. Uh, ran random question and thought: Did we ever determine if? That's a curse, or if that's a just a random magical thing. What? I don't remember. Katya <laughs> being a dude. You guys have never really looked into it. Most of you, she uh, she told and went, okay, and moved on. <laughs> I've asked around, but nobody's got an answer for me. Right, <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot of people are like, wow, you done fucked up. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> um, poking and prodding and cutting me open. Uh, that doesn't sound like a fun time. But It is for my dad. Well, I meant for me as the victim. <laughs> I, I'm sure I would pass out so I wouldn't be conscious anyway. I don't know who's got a way to prevent that kind of stuff. Oh, even better. So I'd be forced <laughs> to watch everything happen. Ugh. See, I'm curious, but I'm not that curious. 
You see, unfortunately, I need to have the patient conscious in order to relay information to me. You say, you hear your father's voice, Dinoch, as he comes stepping out of the house as you guys begin getting oh. uh, close to the estate. Is he also a dragonborn? He is. Okay. Just checking. Do you not Imagine. Vic, where have you been? <clears throat> Would you believe it, another island? <laughs> no. He takes a look he takes a look at Katya and then the rest of your groups. Or the rest of your group? And he kinda goes I suppose it's not out of the realm of possibility, but this better be one hell of a story, young man. Oh, believe me, it is. And I'm not sure you're going to believe it at first. Fortunately, I think Dinoch brought some maps. <laughs> Indeed I did. Also, I lift up the coffee cups. Hmm. But so you brought a peace offering. Well, and he takes <laughs> it. Just know your mother is not as forgiving as I. And he turns and walks back into the house. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you're going to be the next victim, Dinoch. <sighs> Honestly, mother is... Father, you know what's coming. He tells you straight up. Mother? I'm terrified, actually. I may be 37, but my mother is still utterly terrifying. As mothers would be. Mothers will always be terrifying. I think I was more scared of my teacher. <laughs> but I also don't remember that much from my whatever. But but to be fair, Cardin's is both, sort of. <laughs> uh Dinok, as you guys, as you're leading your friends into the house and as you kinda uh step in, you are immediately smacked in the <laughs> back of the head with a rolling pin. Bother. Hello, Dinoc. mother. <laughs> Dinoc. <clears throat> you can see as you turn, she's smacking it against her hand. You can hear the <laughs> sound as it hits. Bump, bump. Let's just wait out here, guys. <laughs> no, no, I, I want to watch this. I didn't say we couldn't watch. I just said let's wait out here. <laughs> I'll wait in here. Do you have any idea how worried we have been? I've got kind giving. of an idea. Yes. That's why I tried to get home as fast as I could. Where... Where on earth could you have possibly have been that where you couldn't have gotten home within, what, three, four months now? Well, Would you believe you... another island? Absolutely not. Would you, you and believe your me if I had maps? She's like, you and your far... Mm, she, like, stops and turns slowly towards you. You have proof of being to another island. Would you be a flying fortress? Is that what all that commotion was about last night? Yes. Hmm. We got home, well, at least to the island home, and, well, Boblin should have told you about the fortress itself. Somehow he Unless managed to he... leave that detail out, and she says, kind of turns and looks towards... One of the rooms, which you know to be, like, your guys' bedroom, and you could just ever so faintly see a little green hand slip from the door. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the door frame, I'm sorry. Another one of his pranks. Mm. Well, at least this one was fairly harmless. <laughs> Remember the time oh, he blew up you. his school? Oh. Do not remind me of that <laughs> incident. Anyway, where are these maps? Show me. 
and I start pulling them out. Mm-hmm. You look o- and you look over as as you're kind of laying these maps down, and your mom is currently drinking one of the lattes. You're not even re- you don't even remember handing it to her. She just has it. <laughs> Now, if you think you're worried about Dinoc being missing, I haven't seen my parents in person for at least the last two years. Oh, yes, Mother, this is Katia. Over there, the one with sunglasses is Valinar. The rough-looking one is Carden. And the young gentleman over there, the half-orc, is John. Please to make your acquaintance, ma'am. Hmm. At least you have some well-mannered friends. Did you meet these young men on the other island you were on as well? <laughs> yes, uh, Valinor, Cardin, and Katya, as well as myself, uh, met, uh, met each other all on our first night there. Uh, some kind of teleportation, teleportation incident of some kind, we're not sure still. We woke up in a cave and began our journeys from there. John is a... Fun times. Yes, it was. John is a uh, resident of that very same island. Hmm. We met him later. She turns to you, uh, John, and goes, And you're working to bring these boys back to their homes, I presume? If that's what they want me to do. Hmm. Well, there's something else we were supposed to do at these islands. We have other plans, yes. Well, but... We have a lot of traveling to do. <laughs> yes. But at the very least, getting home for each of us is one of the high priorities. Now that's understandable. I anyway, th- the maps, d I think the highest priority... I think the highest priority should be the, about the uh, demon invasions, but, you know. Um. Do I hear the sound of a rolling pin being smacked against the hand? <laughs> well, that was d talking. Whap! Hey, hey! I was going to bring that up later. There's a bit of backstory to that one. Don't just drop it unannounced. I well, would say put for the, the sake of expediency... We can, explore, we can draw some better lines. I would say for the sake of expediency, you explain everything to your parents. <laughs> <laughs> uh, namely, just say if there's anything that you want to uh, leave out. Trying to think through... Might leave out that we were in jail for a little bit. <laughs> I understand. Um, <laughs> mother like that, fair. <laughs> yes. What would it be your jail whack? <laughs> she, she feels like a Hispanic mother, just saying. <laughs> wow. I mean, if it makes you feel any better, if I ever got thrown in jail, I wouldn't even bother calling my mom. <laughs> yeah. Well, you must have done something wrong and deserve it. Let me know when you're out. <laughs> no, my mom would be like, well, why are you calling me? Click. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But yeah, um, other than the jail bit, um, and maybe... The Tenebrous Sacrifices themselves? Okay. Just chalk that one up to a ritual. Gotcha. And leave it at that. What about nearly dying due to assassins on your way here? Eh? That's more of a concern for me and John, actually. Yeah. I I wasn't the target. I was just in the way. Okay. (laughs) I thought you were. did a very good job being in the way. (laughs) (laughs) So, eventually, after a couple of hours of doing this and kind of 
having this time to explain and avoid certain conversations. Uh, your parents are very much in belief of what it is you are doing. Um, and then your father disappears for a little while. As he, as he is known to do. Mm -hmm. And you spend some time with your mom uh, and your friends and getting to know uh, her. She is she is lovely, but dear Wait. God, do not make her mad. <laughs> <laughs> At some point during that, I would like to uh, oh. quickly explain to his mother my issue and use alter self to uh, show what I'm supposed to look like. Well, now that's downright unfortunate. Yeah. What did the accent change? By the anyway. way... <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> yes, Dina? Hey! <laughs> no fireballs in my house! Oh yeah, that's fair. What? I'm not casting fireball. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Isn't minor illusion a cantrip? Oh. Oh, I see. You're worried you I'm going to use... have one of those weird yeah, surges, aren't you? Yeah, did you use minor you? illusion or did you use uh, disguise self? He said alter self. Yeah, I used alter. I was going to use alter oh, self. I missed that part. <laughs> yeah, okay. I couldn't remember what it was either. So yeah. No, counterspell is... <laughs> so, essentially, Katya tells the tragic story of how she became he, and then goes, it's like, I'm supposed to look like this, and starts to cast Alter Self, and then I was like, no, get that out of my house. <laughs> yeah, and the, and your, and her and his mother's response is pretty much the same. Well, isn't that downright tragic? <laughs> yeah, I, I was about to... I was about to use magic to show, but um, d -Not does have a point. Every time I cast magic, I kind of backfire, and uh, yeah. it wouldn't be a good idea to do that in his house. He's right. Fireball on self. I'm sorry. It happened once, okay? Yeah, what happened that one time, Katia? Which one time? You're going to have to be more specific, because there have been a lot of one-times with me. But I thought there was only well, been one time that you cast Fireball on yourself. Well, Fireball that one time, I mean, I've... There was the Fireball uh, that nearly killed me. There was the Lightning Bolt that nearly killed me. That one was not a side effect. That was... I was trying to hit something else, but um, didn't so really just realize... Things. Nah. Uh, that, was, that was poor judgment. We're not going to go there, but... <laughs> There was yeah, that time that I put It's about John this point in time that, 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 uh, that. your. It's about this point in time, Dinoch, that your father comes back yeah. in, and just goes, uh, like around the corner, and he goes, "Um, you boys staying a while?" Um, All right, did it again. Are you boys staying a while? Kind of gestures <laughs> to a lot of you guys. Where is that Western day. accent coming from? Dude, yeah, I, I didn't know Chase could have a southern accent. Really? Because I have southern rip, I mean, guys. rip, sorry. <laughs> anyway. Way. I, I failed. Way. It's fine. Um, No, uh, he kind of goes, are you boys staying a while? And gestures to the lot of you sitting at the table. Um, Don't suppose we have a strict timeline set? Honestly, an afternoon would be grand. Um, I need some help with something. Oh, oh shit. What, what, what do you mean? Oh. So, well, that could either mean help with an experiment or help with family politics. And honestly, I take the experiment way before family politics. Well, family politics would be something that you'd have to deal with. An experiment depends honestly, on the nature it, of it. Honestly, it's a little bit more of the experimental type. Uh, but it's it would be very up uh, his alley. And he just points to Cardin, who looks like a small... who who looks like he's carrying a small militia on his back with the number <laughs> of weapons that he has. An experiment with the barbarian? 
Up Whoa. my alley? Cardin no. is like question. Maybe he's trying to enhance intelligence. There's just a question mark above his head. <laughs> well, it's like Animal Crossing. <laughs> so it's like a light bulb that flickered on and off right above his head. Like what? He likes tilts. He tilts his head like, huh? <laughs> so well, I'm using the light bulb till it goes on. <laughs> we so, so we had a um a beast that we had successfully created and spliced. It's a very large, uh, dire beast, if you would. And... Another attempt at the Chimera? No, this one was, um, just uh, making the... Um... Crap, crap, crap. I'm forgetting my own creations now. <laughs> uh... Uh, one second. Come on, load faster. Eh. <laughs> uh, no, this was simply to try to make uh, the wildebeest around the area more resistant to the hunters that are currently populating the forest to the uh, to the number that they are. Uh, and the creature had a had a child uh, successfully, which is what we were aiming for. Um. We didn't account for the beast's intelligence, though, and the cub fell off the edge. And now the mother is going mm, berserk, for the lack of a better term, in the local area. And it is... Uh, I would like to take it, get, it, get it taken care of before the council gets dragged into things and and if before it begins to become a even larger threat to the town and its inhabitants at the at the moment it's just a minor annoyance to uh those who live near the thunderfall forest so what are the chances the cub survived the fall i mean it's just it fell from an island what do you think i mean it's just a child it would i uh, very unlikely, I would assume. Cardin pipes up, oh, it's totally 100% likely it'll survive. Yeah, knowing our luck. Yeah. Eventually, we're going down to the surface. Yes, the surface. That's where Cardin's from. Right, I believe that was mentioned. Yeah. Knowing our luck, we're probably going to come across it. Well, and chances are it'll be big and bad and grown up and very, very angry. How fast did you set the maturation rate on it? Uh, standard for that of a wildebeest. How long is that, Dinoch? I guess that's to the DM. <laughs> <laughs> it's Because I can throw in a random number and say a week. Sure. So, if I'm not mistaken, wildebeest are technically considered like full grown after several months. At the rate we're going, yeah, it'll be full grown. <laughs> so, again, I ask Dinoch, why would you want to do experiments on living creatures? Do you have any idea what the application of this could be no clue wait a minute aren't you the one that's really a she yeah okay. not by choice right with enough practice and experimentation it is highly probable again this is all theory at the moment that you could willingly choose which one you would like to be. Oh, really? Yes. So you can untangle my weave. Do what now? We mean my... physically change your body. Oh. Well, that, that's something. But, um... And... What would happen if... Well, what... What would happen if you did that, and then somehow my magic reverted? Would I become some kind of 
uh, monstrosity. See, that's the thing. That's why a lot of experimentation and trial and error are necessary, which is also why human trials have not been um, allowed yet. And he kind of just sli- like kind of slowly looks to his wife, who just shakes her head, and he just kind of looks down in defeat. Uh, I'm not sure I'd like to be a lab winnie pig. Well, I'm not saying that you should be the guinea pig. I'm just saying eventually, I, once we have wait, a better what, control it? under the genetic whoa, whoa, splicing whoa. And process. Hang on. Hang on. What is a guinea pig? Do you know if your friend needs you to have, get out more. You you must have a different you must have a different name for for that creature here. I I, I clearly said winnie pig. Small fluffy rodent. Pet? Yes. Yes. Guinea pig, yep. Some... Different words. Oh. Rats. Uh, okay, I, I do have to make this point. <laughs> it's... Your version isn't venomous, right? Uh, no? Huh. Different than species whenever the islands rose? Why would a guinea pig be venomous? Cardi looks in confusion. To protect itself from larger predators, why would it not be venomous? Uh, because because it's a fluffy not... little pet. I wouldn't be keeping a venomous creature as a pet. That sounds dangerous. Well, of course, that's part of why... This isn't the time of Australia, you know. <laughs> this has just become canon. We gotta add that to my island now. <laughs> no, don't go straight. Send it to me in a message. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Differently, though. Any, anyway, uh, Dinoc, would you and your friends be interested in helping? Uh, take yes. care of this issue. Oh. You can see him, like, sigh in relief. <laughs> that would be much appreciated. Um, you can probably all hear that. I'm sorry. You're fine. Uh, you know about the dangers of the woods, yeah? The beasts and stuff that per- that wander. Yeah, so as long as you haven't added anything new. Um. Great. I mean, you've been gone for a while, son. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I would primarily just watch out for things like owl bears, uh, maybe the boletas, um, the avian absorbers are definitely a new one that I would avoid. Um,. Please tell me you didn't try and recreate a Beholder. Beholder? No. Chimera? Yes. That may or may not be still out there. Anyway, uh, oh, good to note, uh, thing for you. Um, those, um, purists, uh, they've been forced inland a little bit. And he kind of gives, like, this gritty teeth kind of, like, my bad. Uh, due to this, Wildebeest is, um, mm, rampage. So, you stay didn't. away. Yeah, it's not my fault that it likes to circum, circum the, peruse the, uh, cliff edges where the cub fell. They got pushed inland because it was hostile towards them. So, uh, be careful. And we're not Watch lucky enough that didn't it? And we're not lucky enough that targeted them entirely. Uh, as far as I'm aware, there's still some out there, but, um, you know. <laughs> then we're going to run into her. Great! We're gonna run into my ex. Oh. Did he say Which something about was... purists? Which one was that now, d Ugh. <sighs> 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 
You remember the one, the stalker I had there when I was in middle school? The one that dropped out because of technology? Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't her name like Annabelle or something like that? I was thinking Miranda, but you know, that just sounds like a name that I would be avoiding. That's, that's a little too real. I'm not going to use that name. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no, not for me. Just because of a not not for me a, a situation that I am aware of. That uh, anyway. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know. No, no, no. I'll tell you later. I'll tell you later. Okay. Okay. Yes, that one. Annabelle. Well, good luck. <laughs> uh, I'm going to need guys, my entire group for this one. If you guys want to set out at any point in time, that would be awesome. The sooner this is taken care of, the better for it is for me. But at the same time, I understand you guys just got here, and I don't want to push you into anything. So, again, uh, I ask, did, did you say something about purists? Yeah, nature lovers to an extreme. Oh, so there, there are people they are very who much have, against. Yeah, there are people who have completely rejected our our societal norm uh, that has come to grow over the last what two two thousand years or so. They mm -hmm. very okay. actively oppose technology and refuse its uh, progression. There's been a like few people. versions of them that have actually attacked people over technology. So they don't like technology. Oh, oh and absolutely. They don't like your if they see you with it, either. they will kill you. Absolutely. Oh. Then we should fit in just fine. No, oh, except for Dinoch. I should fit in perfectly. Duh. Okay, dude, you need to turn down your mic. Yeah. He was very excited about that. I don't know what you're talking I about. I was very excited about it. I had it all the way, I have it out all the way down, actually. That's turn him down in Discord. Turn, yeah, turn <laughs> him down in Discord. I, I see it now. Carden's gonna get out there. He's just gonna rip off his loincloth. Be like, I'm ready to shoot you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm betting you, you would enjoy that, wouldn't you? I wouldn't say I wouldn't enjoy that. <laughs> Did he just get like really, really, really quiet? Okay, is that better? Absolutely. Oh. Much better. Wow. I actually need to turn him back up now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, while you guys decide on what you want to do with this course of action on uh, whether or not you want, when you want to take off to help out Dinox's father with this endeavor, we're going to go ahead and take a break. Because it's a little after 10.30. Perfect, because my pen just died <laughs> awesome perfect all right timing. guys uh <laughs> we'll be back here in just a few minutes i'm gonna go see if i can put my my child down for the night but i'm not gonna hold my breath um but we'll be back Good in luck. a little while so stay tuned and we'll be back when uh, when we can after these messages we'll be right back I'm back everyone <laughs> <laughs> oh wait i went to the wrong screen dag 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 damn <laughs> what? Oh, what <sighs> i'm sorry i came back at a really interesting point in time and anyway we're here you idiots are being idiots imagine that and and he came in when we were being idiots um um i didn't think it stopped Wait, we're, it, when are we not idiots? It really didn't. I mean, our brains are broken, so I mean... But that's so, what makes us cool. That that assumes we remember to put our brains in in the morning. <laughs> Gotta have my coffee. That assumes so, we have a brain. Alright, let's focus, guys. Let's I focus. Brain. I just choose not to use it. Focus. focus. Oh, I wish I had a brain. Focus. Focus. Okay, no. what did you guys, what what did you guys decide? A what? <laughs> what did you guys want to do? Did you guys want to leave immediately to hunt this uh, beast for Dinox's father? Or did you guys want to um, 
do it at a later date. But what time is it? Carden it's like would noon. love to hunt this beast. I, I think maybe hunting the beast would put us in a better bargaining position for lunch. Well, first, I need to get my skeletons. And lunch first. I, th I thought the skeletons were in your bag. Oh no, Adobe Flash Player is doing thing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you still got Adobe Flash Player? It keeps popping <laughs> up telling me to update and I don't understand. It doesn't exist. It's because you have a Mac. Ah. Uh, oh. It told me there was an update as of January 13th, 2021. What? Yeah. People yeah. still use it? It still I exists? Yeah, so well, illusion I mean, magic. Other than, other than Chrome, I think all the others are still using it, aren't they? Uh-huh. I'm using Chrome. Oh. Oh. That's what gave me oh. the Anyway, you guys want to go now? I got to go get my skeletons first. I mean, that's easy enough to do. I don't want to um, fight a wildebeest on a hungry... Uh, uh, oh, God. On an empty stomach? Jesus. <laughs> it was a empty. Good... Oops. That was way too hard. Uh, Dinoch's mother kind of steps up and just goes, here, take one of these with you. And she gives everybody um, a little small, um, almost berry-like um, item. Oh! This is good berry, isn't it? it not exactly, but yes. <laughs> okay. It is, you, As a player. When you put, when you put it cocky, into your I'm mouth... Like, what the hell am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> When, so, d -Knock, you know what it is immediately. You put it in your mouth, you crunch it, um, as it is a hard, like, food preservative item. Um, but when you crunch it, you gain the benefits of good berry. They last a lot mm -hmm. longer than good berry does, is what these are, basically. They're food pellets, essentially. Also, quick question. Yes. Are we, are we still under the effects of Heroes Feast? Yes, you are under until this evening. Yep, you are okay. under those effects until roughly, I think it was like probably six or seven. Okay, let's let's go kill a wildebeest before that wears out. Sounds good to me. Okay, so I guess I'll eat the berry and. Um, well, I like... tell you, um, it's a special food pill. Mother made it after. What was the spell you saw again? Uh, I saw a good berry being used, I believe it was. Hmm. These, the berries themselves usually keep for about 24 hours, and I wanted something that people could take in, on ex excursions where they wouldn't have to worry about it going away. So these would actually uh, sustain you for uh, at least one meal, if not more, if you have the stomach for it, uh, and these do not go bad for uh, roughly a week. Wow. And they're they're just this small berry. Yeah. Well, it's specially preserved. It's I crunchy. Mean, yeah, think like the size of a, maybe a large, maybe like the size of a large blueberry. That's impressive. I heard a crunch. <laughs> <laughs> the, immer the immersion is real. Anyway. As, as Carden eats three of them. <laughs> oh, God! Oh, no. Carden, make a constitution saving throw. Oh, shit! Oh, God. As his mother rolled... Carden, you're well pulling a drink! Oh, God. Oh, crap. Oh. <laughs> That's, like, really low for me. Carden, uh -huh. you're a Derek. Um, I just hope there's no alligator demon. Wait, hold up. Is he near me? Probably. What's your bonus? Give me a sec. Yeah, I'd probably be within like five to ten feet of the paladin. I mean, most of you oh, are God. at this point, I would say. I'm hugging John. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your charisma bonus, John? 
Two. Two, so that's actually an 11. Yeah, I'll, it's a first level spell. I'll say that's that's good enough. Just Yay. barely, because otherwise, you, John. <laughs> no problem. I'm glad I remembered this time. Yeah, me too. So, um, so you guys begin to head out into the, uh, basically leaving your parents' abode and going into the the forest, which is very nearby, which is also on the way to the fortress. Um, you kind of mm -hmm. have to go through it anyway to get there. So. Change music here. As you guys... Uh, and we're going to just say for the sake of expediency that you have already grabbed your... Um, your skeletons, d -knock. Okay. So if that's on loop or not. We'll find well, out. Well, we'll tell you. It, yeah. Well, I can hear it as well, so that's fine. Alrighty. Uh, I hope it's loud enough for everybody. I don't want to make it too loud, but I also don't want it to be quiet. <laughs> so. You guys begin to head through the forest. Um, in search of this wildebeest that your father has uh, cre accidentally created. Yeah, well, it was perfect. He ma he made it on purpose. Um, go ahead, and I'll have everybody roll a survival check just to see how this goes. Wow. Oh, that's not Wait. good. What was in that fairy? 23. Oh. Oh, shit. I thought Cardiz was mine. <laughs> <laughs> that six is no bueno. Uh, yes, the forest right hit out is a heretic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah, as you guys are kind of meandering through the forest, looking for tracks of some kind in order to get um, a lead on some kind of a beast uh, that you could potentially track. Um, everybody except for Katya. Actually, no, technically, even Katya. Um, would notice, wow. yeah, I rolled really low, uh, would <laughs> notice a, a set of prints, uh, hooven, hooven in nature heading towards, oh cool, it did repeat. Yeah, but that's kind of a jarring <laughs> loop. <laughs> yeah, well, it's. It works. Um, um, sorry. Moving in nature that is currently wandering through the the woods itself, um, and it is leading. <coughs> somewhat towards the edge of the island itself but in a loose uh, pattern. What would you guys like to do? To and they're fairly hard. I would like to follow the footprints because yeah. that's how you hunt things. Okay. Just don't run off ahead of us again. Last yes, time we were following were... footprints, you ran into the arms of a nasty. And considering this is heading towards the edge, I wouldn't want you to fall off. Yeah, I'm I'm being careful. That's a first. Yup. I, 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 I know, like, 
stalking this thingy, so, like, Cardin is in, like, full, like, hunt mode rather than chase mode. Lead the way. Mm. Okay. Alright, so you guys are gonna follow these traps. Yep. Yeah. They... Uh, I need... Would Danger Sense let me know if I'm in danger? No. <laughs> it, it doesn't work that way. I know. Um, I'm in danger! <laughs> I'll have to fix that later. Um, I know it's a jarring uh, repeat, guys, but bear with me. These are a lot of things that I have grabbed and are using um, myself. Um, the music we, you guys are currently hearing is... Oh, one sec. Is... Is uh, brought to you by uh, Michael Gifiel, Gafel, I think it's how that's said. It's uh, uh, G-H-E-L-L-F-I. Um... He posted it. He has a bunch of music that is uh, free to use, and so I just grabbed some. Made them way shorter in order to utilize in Roll20 um, and not use all of my uh, memory capacity. So. If you want to throw a link in both Twitch and the Discord, that'd be great. I will do this. It is not menacing at all. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm going to throw it in the Discord, and then I'm going to have you throw it into the, the Twitch we'll chat for me, please. There's his link. So. Me too. Um, you guys... Following Cardin, one second here as I, uh, Dinoc, what do you currently have up, by the way? Uh, let's see, my Minotaur, I think I'm at two skeletons and two zombies. Okay. Well, my, my Minotaur and two skeletons and two zombies. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I know what you meant. Okay. Yeah, um, I just wanted to make sure it, you know, it came across to everyone else. Mm -hmm. Right. Go ahead and move. Okay, so uh, eventually, Cardin, as you are leading and go ahead and make a stealth check for me, Cardin. As you are currently the one leading this charge. Oh, no. Hey, Cardin's not awful at stealth, but he got a seven. <laughs> God. We're fucked. Okay. That was nice knowing y'all. Yep. You inside me. You. Okay, now that you've made that, go ahead and make a perception check for me. Thirteen. Um, you, as you step through the, the brush here and begin to c 
come up closer to uh, where these tracks are becoming more and more fresh. Um, you step through the brush and you get a line of sight on a large entity. It is very weird looking. It's an, you don't believe this is what you're looking for. You're not sure, though. As this is a creature that is very large. It looks to have, like, the head of a badger. Um, the, it looks to have legs like a deer and a body almost like that of a large hyena. And it looks to be almost stitched together in some areas. And as you kind of approach slightly, and you're like, I don't think this is it, and you begin to back up, you you accidentally step on a twig, and this loud <laughs> sound rings out, and you watch as two heads turn and look towards you. One from oh, or a head for two different creatures. And as it makes <laughs> eye contact with you, it begins to run. And I want everybody to roll initiative. Uh, before before you roll, let me stop. Let me, roll. There we go. But yeah, let me get you guys over. Oh shit! What the hell is that thing? Uh, Those you guys things? Oh crap! Oh shoot! I just deleted you you again, Dinoc. I'm sorry. I'll add you back. Don't worry. I got you. Well, I wouldn't mind having a reroll, honestly. Sorry. I. I am not seeing myself on the map. I am not seeing You're myself on the bottom. either. Bottom right hand corner. Oh lord. It, it, it cuts off for some reason when I scroll. So zoom Let's out see. and then scroll. Got it. Scroll. Got it. We're yep. good. Okay, and I'm going to change okay. over to some battle music. I can only hope that these things have utterly shitty... Look at that beautiful three. I know, right? Oh my god. We're uh, we're having bad luck tonight. Hey, John, we I... have the same one. <laughs> yeah, we're finally gonna be on top of the order instead of the bottom. You, uh, you say that, well, but they well, rolled a natural twenty for initiative. Well, like oh, out of our god. party. Yeah. Oh my god. Group, okay. I'm uh, always on the freaking bottom. Yeah, it happens. Uh, yeah, they come. Hmm, thanks. Uh, they come barreling these two. I'm pretty sure they can make it. I will, I will double check just to be safe, but I'm almost positive they can. Yeah, with, with ease, they make it right up on you, Carter. Just pushing, just pushing tree, uh, these, the shrubs of trees and around the bends and stuff out of their way. Uh, they are rather large creatures. Um, and they are going to, uh, they are going to make two attacks. Each of them are going to make two attacks on you. Uh, so first, uh, the first one, uh, it's bite attack. <laughs> uh, 14 to hit. 14 will miss. And then the hooven attack. Oh, it's even lower. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, the, oh, I'm going to real quick. Uh, the other one? No, it's not. Granted, this means Rip is getting his low rolls out of the way. This is true. So, red and green. Uh, and then the other two are going to make... You're okay, buddy. Are gonna, he's going to make his two attacks. Uh, want the... Uh -oh. Um... No, I'm sorry. He's... he's okay. Uh, he's, okay. Uh, so, the... Ugh. The bite attack is going to miss. However, the hooves are probably going to hit with a... Uh, that's a 26. Yeah, so 20, 20, 20, 24. 24, my bad. 24 will hit. I, I can math, guys, I promise. 
Uh, that is 14 points of bludgeoning damage that you do not resist because you are not raging yet. Ooh. Thank God for temp HP. Truth. So, I'm gonna change the color on that one because it's a little hard to see. You know, if you would just drink this, you would be fine. Um, <laughs> uh, but that is going to end their turn. Carden! Carden will attack the one in front of him. Okay. With cloud Flutter. Okay, uh, the After red one, correct? Raging. After raging. Oh. Okay, the red one, correct? Yes, the red one. Thank fucking god you remembered. <laughs> it's been a little while. Oh my god. I'm sort of slow course. like Harden, so. <laughs> oh uh, my god. Oh, okay. Good job. And I'll just roll both. That'll hit. Real quick. And then will a 22 hit as well? Yes. Okay, so the crit damage. Oh, Lord. Ooh. 23. Ooh. Oh, 25. That's not too bad. Is that including the rage bonus? Yeah. No. Is it? <laughs> 6 plus 5 is 11. Plus. 12 is yeah so yeah that's including the rage bonus and then for the second damage 10 plus 2 so Oof, not a 12 not a bad opener a lot of very damage. nice uh, it is still standing, but that was a lot of damage as you take your your large axe and just take two heavy cuts out of it. John. It my, is it my turn? Sorry, it like cut yes, out it is. slightly. I just heard John. <laughs> yep. It is your turn. Alright, um, first I'm gonna move over... Uh, to where the uh, monsters are um, and I'm going to do um, combustion to turn on my sword and um, and then um, I'm going to uh, cast thunder smite um, as a bonus action Okay. And then I am going to attack the one in front of me. Go for it. Roll to hit. <laughs> okay. That'll right. hit. Nice. <laughs> nice, dude. That's a hit. 20, yeah, yeah, 26 will definitely hit. Ooh. Oh wait, I'm adding a divine smite uh, first. Well, hold on, that. hold on. First, we gotta take this one step at a time because of uh, the way this works. So, uh, before you do anything else, you need to roll one d six for me because you rolled a one on your weapon die. Looks like you rolled two ones. So the fire damage is not applied to the to his uh, great weapon's fighting style. So. Uh. Yeah, unfortunately, but that does change it from a from 11 points of damage to 15 points of slashing damage. Uh, so that's 18 points on the first swing. Um, you also get your uh, thunderous smite damage on this hit as well. So go ahead and roll that, because honestly, depending on how that is. Did it? I don't think you guys ever fixed it. Uh, uh, yeah, doing nothing. Hold on. I forgot. Okay, what does the spell description say? Uh, 
Uh, it's a uh, 2d6 plus um, they have to succeed a strength saving throw or be pushed back 10 feet and are prone. Okay, so go ahead and roll 2d, uh, 2d6 then, and I'll make a strength save for this beast. Another five. Okay. Uh, and does a... Doesn't a 19 save? It's against my DC, right? Yeah. Yeah, that would save. Okay. All right. So it is still standing. So if you want to add your your divine smite onto it, you are welcome to do so. Yeah, it does look do pretty that. rough, though. Okay, go ahead and roll divine smite. Gone. <laughs> Just, right, really? Uh, as you hit in that radiant burst of energy impacts, uh, this creature falls down dead. Uh, that was your first attack. Or your bonus action and your first <laughs> attack. Um... Can I move reach over the other one from here, or do I need to move, and do I have enough movement speed? You would need to Sorry. move, and you were... You weren't very far away from Cardin, so you, you, you still have right movement. Middle, weren't you? Yeah, something like that. You can get to the other one. You do. You will need to move, though. Move, move. Okay, from here. but I can move. Yep. Alright, and then I'm going to hit it with my turn. Yeah. Go for it. <clears throat> Rip and tear until it is done. Uh, wow, that was bad. Eleven is going to miss, unfortunately. Got uh, a as you kind of like, tacky. yeah, as you kind of take the first swing and, and you're like, ah, oh, we got this, and you step up and take the next swing. Um, it catches it, kind of like on its. Uh, let's see. Uh, kind of like with its teeth almost, and just ah, and shrugs the blade off a little bit at that point. Um, Dinoch. All right. Um, let me. There we go. There we go. Need a check. Come on. Nope. I mean, if he... I need to check the... Never mind, he's just gonna... He can actually reach it. Now, where would that put him? Uh, hmm. It is interesting Rip. because... That's interesting because technically the... Oh, wait. I did, okay. So, technically the, the creature itself is, like, difficult terrain and stuff to maneuver around, but your skeleton is also big. So, hmm. I would say it could probably stand over top of it. All right, and it's actually going to do a gore attack. Ooh, okay. Which would also activate the uh, charge. Yep. So let's get that attack roll, see what we get. Nine plus six. Fifteen. Fifteen, that'll hit. All right, let me look at what we're dealing. 1d12 plus four. A 
Oh, hold on, I gotta make sure I'm right. Okay, so we talked about retaking off the one of the D12s for the Great Axe. Did we ever change the gore attack? Isn't the gore like two or three D6 or something like that? Two D8. No, that's fine. Okay. Wonderful. That's pretty standard for a gore attack anyway. Then that activates the charge, bringing in another 2d8. Hold on a second. What? Minotaur Skeleton has the charge. If it moves in a straight line at least 10 feet, press the target, and then hits it with a gore attack on the same turn, the target takes an extra 2d8 piercing damage. I see. I see what's going on. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so, to begin with, you need to roll another D8, because you only rolled one D8 plus four. Ah. That's better. Um, and yes, so the charge does take into effect, so you do need to roll another 2D8. I mean, a heaven and hell situation there, that's fine. <laughs> Yeah, so that is a total of 21, uh, 34. Yeah, 34 points of damage. Very nice. As it runs Wonderful forward intro. and basically rams this its uh, own horns into this creature's side, and it lets out this horrifying squeal. Then the two skeletons are going to make their attacks with longbows. Come on. There we go. 15 will hit. Ooh. Ouch. Ooh. That's one skeleton. Mm -hmm. That's gonna miss. Thank God it wasn't the second number. <laughs> this is true. It is going to miss, however. Mm-hmm. And the two zombies. Probably have to move just to get line of sight, otherwise they're gonna have to shoot through you people. They get there. Okay. Right. And I'm gonna yeet a firebolt. Okay. I'm gonna move one, two. Can get a sight right there, right? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Unfortunate. Uh, 14 just hits. Oh, so their AC is 14. Nice. Wow. 15 fire damage. This thing is roasted and it hurts, <laughs> but it is still just standing. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> right? <laughs> yep. yep. Alright. Let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and move there. Get a better line of sight. Okay. I'm gonna throw a couple Eldritch Blasts at it. Go for it. Let's see. First one. Oh, oh god, no! no! Can I use oh, my inspiration no. to re-roll that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. Thank, Thank you. 
Because <laughs> that's not good. Inspiration can be a lifesaver. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's a lot that's better. That's much better. Yeah, 23 will hit. Okay, so I know that one will hit. Okay, the second beam is an 18. 18 also hits. Okay. Damage plus damage. 13 points of force damage. You managed to kill it. Neat. Cool. <laughs> this is the first time Katya has uh, been useful. Something with his with his new power. So. Yep. Wow. DM, I'm so proud of you, Katya. Is there anything else you would like to do on your turn? No. Well, that seems surprisingly. Okay. Where's the rest? <laughs> no, yeah. no. That seems surprisingly easy. Where's the rest? It's your turn, Would Valinar. You, do you want to make a perception check to see if you can find out? Sure. Sure, so go ahead. It's not like there's anything else I can do except burn down the forest. <laughs> yeah, and, I, and I'll give you this as like a free action. I'm not too worried about. Okay, 14. 14. Yeah. You scan the area looking around intently for another beast and you see one more right over here oh it's hmm. looking up and getting ready to uh charge if you think so you said that's my free action uh you, yeah like a free or a bonus yeah you can have it okay. for free we're gonna, we're gonna try this and see if this works um we're just gonna try to get rid of it oh <laughs> oh. oh! Oh! Charisma saving throw. <laughs> Interesting. That. <laughs> like I said, we're just gonna try to get rid of it. I think you're killing our tank. I'm good. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming a a two does not save. No. <laughs> All right. So, this thing out of existence. Cool. <laughs> Does it stay uh, gone? As long as I don't take damage or drop the spell within a minute, yes. So, I am going to let you know that this is a natural creature that wanders this plane. Uh oh. So, it will return within one minute. Or in one minute. So, what do you guys want to do with um, that minute? If if the spell ends before a minute has passed, it reappears. Otherwise, it just doesn't return. Yep. So, it's best I'm going to go ahead and... The end. Yep. I'm going to stop That's if it's from a different plane of existence. Uh, it's, well, as you say, it's best for that on the section that said its target is native. Yeah. That's why I did that. Yeah, you weren't sure. But it is a natural... A, well, I'm not going to call it a natural creature. It is a creature that is native to this home plane. Wait, so am I reading the spell wrong? What? Yeah, so... If... Uh, the target must succeed a charisma saving throw or be banished. The target is native to the plane of existence you're on. You banish it to a harmless demiplane. While the target is there, it is incapacitated. The target remains there until the spell ends, no, at I, which I point the target it. reappears okay. in the space it left or the nearest unoccupied space. I misread it. Okay, cool. Yep. But <laughs> so they'll be back in a minute. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But if you do this to a creature that is not native to this plane of existence, um, yeah. So let like let's say that crow shine that you guys fought back in the uh, fortress. If you were I, to I, cast, yeah, that thing was not native to this plane of existence. It is native to the shadow plane. If you would have banished it and it would have failed the save, it would have been banished to the shadow realm, and the fight would have been over. Yeah. However, you guys have one minute to decide what you're going to do before this thing reappears. You know all the tanks around it and wail on it. Okay. Um, I am going to say, I'm just moving him for real quick. Uh, the Cardin in that minute will slap himself. 
Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. The area oh, okay. is uh, it like these trees. You can't just freely walk through them. Uh, some of them you can uh, walk around, but like your skeleton is having a difficult time navigating some of these narrower uh, walkways. Hey, he's over here. Ooh, I'm gonna call in keen mind bullshit. Where was it at last? Right here. It was in this clearing. Okay. Yeah, I will. So uh, I'm right here. If Valinar knows it will be back in a you're, minute, you're that gives right us there. all time to prepare, right? Yep. Okay. You guys can Go all hold and prepare one action. All right. I'm going to move over here, where I would have a line of sight. And I'm going to hold Chromatic Orb until it appears. Okay. Carden, John, you guys may want to get into position, too. Can I, go, can I get right yeah, there? I'm just going to move him. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, that's Thanks. Right. Right, I'm going to hold quick a... wounds. You're going to hold... Okay, <laughs> so you're going to hold what? Inflict wounds. Okay. We're just going to wail on this thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm well aware. Come back and die. <laughs> All right, so just for the sake of order, we're going to go down the co the initiative order where the thing appears, just starting at uh, Cardin, okay? Just for the sake okay. of order. So as everybody gets into position... Valinar, you release the spell, or the spell ends, whichever one you prefer, and the thing backs into existence. So, um, Cardin, what your action that you have held is your it's attack probably action. like, what the fuck just happened? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead um, and make your attacks. Okay. Come on. There we go. No. Oh, thank God. 20 hits. 20 hits. <laughs> hits. 12 plus 3 is 15 plus 2 is 17. Very nice. Second attack. Well, 14. It'll just hit. <gasps> I wish I would have had that 26, though. That would have been nice. <laughs> I mean, there's... Mm. You know. Well, uh... 18 points of damage. Okay, 18 points of damage. Nice. Okay. That was, that was a pretty good round. Yep, that's your round. Uh, yep. John. Yeah, I'm gonna, um... Hit it twice? Hit it. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Make your two swings. Hit. Wow. <laughs> and I'm adding Divine Smite level two onto that. Okay. Overkill. Yeah. Roll, roll the this damage. Thing is, this thing is going to die roll fast. Roll that. Oh my god, that's a All lot right. of sixes. <laughs> I also forgot to add that my aura of hate adds two extra damage. Uh, to the undead oh. stuff. Um, so it you reroll ones. Two. Right, 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 right. So I'll take that into consideration now. I also need you to roll another uh, d6 for me because you rolled a two. Ew. <laughs> you can reroll that. Oh, but that one you have uh, to keep. So Sorry. Uh, still, that is a lot of damage. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Yeah, right? oh, that's that's so god. much damage. He handedly just yeah. did like 90% of this thing's health, probably. If not the rest of it. It's dead. It's dead. <laughs> it's dead. It's dead. Oh, I it's just, just like, it's just it getting died. started. What the heck? <laughs> Uh, it 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 is burning. It, you oh my god, dude! <laughs> Jesus, 
Uh, you between... literally set this thing on fire. Yeah, between Anybody the, hungry? Between, between the two between Cardin's two hits and John's one hit, you guys dealt uh just shy of a hundred points of damage, I think. Uh, I ended up seventy eight, but yeah, it's it's a lot. It's because we got to go first this time. Uh huh. Big oof. It's what happens when the tanks go first. Aren't y'all supposed to be tanking the damage, not doing the damage? <laughs> well, I'm a damage tank. But so is Paladin, oh. so. And it's also thanks to Valinar for sending that monster away True. so we could get time to plan. True. But, uh, oof. Yeah. That was not supposed to be easy at all. I know that. The, well, I mean, they weren't... It wasn't going to be a major challenge, honestly. These things are only a CR3. But um, it still wasn't supposed to be that easy. I wasn't expecting only to get... I wasn't expecting to only be able to get off three attacks. <laughs> um, I'm going to take a look at these credits. I see Gary charge. No. <laughs> Let's not let something charge at us. So that's... So, are these the wildebeest we're looking for? Seven. Yeah, John, you did ridiculous damage right there, dude. Um. These do not appear to be wildebeest in any way. Um. With an investigation, these seem to be some older creatures that your father, um, well, and mother has te have technically uh, hobbled together. Um, probably early not, experiments. Probably you are more unfamiliar with these creatures than anything, um, but they don't seem they don't have any kind of. Um, Uh, wildebeest in them that you were anticipating. So, Dinoch, again, I ask, why would you want to experiment on genetic creatures? Well, imagine being able, being able to control these things. What purpose do they serve? They're not even one type of animal. They're good guards. Yeah, but I just kind of throw you. <laughs> well, they're 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 failed experiments. Obviously, there's a reason they failed. So what 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 does your father do with all these failed experiments? Just dump them out here in the woods, and then they become somebody else's problem. Uh, yeah, kinda. See, I don't like that idea. I, I feel like he should put them down himself. My father is almost entirely experiment-based. He has no real combat experience that I know of. That's why you have fail-safes in place for a failed experiment. Yeah, usually it's me. I'm the fail-safe. Uh, yeah, you and some other people. Alright, okay, let's be honest. My wife was when she was alive. Uh, let's see. Valinar and Cardin, you guys have the highest passive perceptions. Uh, yeah, you guys would notice this pretty quickly, actually. Um, as you guys are standing there talking over the course of a few minutes, the, you begin to hear movement in the forest. And as you guys begin to look around, you see... Four large creatures begin to approach. You've got to be kidding me. With almost like a giant owl face, but, almost, yeah. but walking on all four oh, like bears. You see four owl bear bears being drawn in by the smell of blood and the smell of fresh meat. 
Uh, Dinoch, let him have it. Dinoch, you know that these things are territorial, but also they can be very passive if if uh, left to their own devices, basically. We don't have to fight these things if we can just back away from all the food. Back away from the food. Let them have it. Let them have it. Alright. Uh, okay. I don't have any need for this. That lasso might come in handy now. <laughs> Are you sure I can't get one hidden? If you do, Robert, we are fighting four of them. Robert's gonna throw the lasso around Carden. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys begin to move away, they begin to kind of move closer to the meat. Oh. Ah. <laughs> and eventually, they begin to devour <laughs> the carcasses that have been left to them. Um, the and genetic assuming... experimentation. Their fellow genetic experimentations. Fantastic. And what? I assume you guys. What does he gain to? What does he hope to gain from crossing owls with bears? Smart bears. Do you not that wait and for the owl bears? More... <laughs> so, kind of so... Have you never seen an owl bear before? Those things are natural. Sure well, they these are. are made by my father. He's trying to create his own version. Ah. Ah. That doesn't sound dangerous at all. One I mean, of them may say- be natural. I think he pretty much succeeded in recreating owlbears, but I don't know if he added anything else. I'm not going to stick around and check. I think we should get back to looking for that wildebeest. Yeah. The other more think right. about it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. wait. Oh. Maybe, maybe, because we let them have this meat, maybe they'll be our friends and they'll help us hunt it. <laughs> I wish. Sorry. What? Did oh, one of just disappear? My bad. I should have moved you guys before doing that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All of a sudden, the owl bear disappears. What just happened? Well, I am cleaning up this map so that I can reuse it later. So, just a little housekeeping. Uh, and a tip for you uh, DMs out there who uh, who uh, reuse maps on things like Roll20. You hide things in the GM layer. You can, hi- you can hide a bunch of beasties um, in the GM layer that your party can't see, and then whenever you need to pull one out, you can just reveal it. (laughs) Yeah, I had like six or... I had like six beasts hidden in the GM layer on that map. Or depending on how you guys rolled and what you guys encountered. So. Um. You guys... I'm gonna have, uh... I'm gonna have everybody roll another set of invest of uh, survival checks for me, or investigation if you would prefer to do that. Well, if you had said that earlier, can I re-roll? Yeah, you you may, you may. I hadn't finished speaking. Make a difference for me. So eh, that's better. Twenty-three. Thirteen. Pardon? I do not wish to survive. <laughs> yeah, one sec. One. Uh, in like 10. I hate having one screen. <laughs> 10. Uh, Ooh. Dinoch Carden and... will always choose to survive. <laughs> Dinoc and Valinar. As you guys are leaving the area, you guys catch a trail. A little blood, and it's got an unusual 
track to it. Almost badger-like, where it's got claws. Dinoc, you've never mm. seen these tracks before. Mm. And with your guys' combined knowledge, you have a gut instinct that these tracks, if you follow them, will lead you to your wilderbeast that you're supposed to fight and vanquish. I have no clue what my father put in this thing. Oh, this all the the last things we saw, it could be anything. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure this is the one we're hunting. I feel like I should start calling your father, uh, what, what was that name? Muno? Something what? like that? I think it was Dr. Muno. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. No, not right. No, no, I'll forget Dr. it. Are you thinking Dr. Mundo? <laughs> Not, not the League of Legends character. Dr. Mundo, let's go! <laughs> well, I'm confused on what you were trying to come up with. I was like, uh... Moreau. Dr. Moreau. I, uh... Honestly, Rip, I'm sort of surprised you recognize that as a League character. I've played League before. I just don't <laughs> regularly play League. That's what we all say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm actually, it's now. still t actually it's technically still on my desktop, but uh, I couldn't tell you the last time I played <laughs> it. So, I probably you guys, played in like mine, mine was like three months ago. Yeah. Well, that's because your computer crashed. Anyway, let yeah, let us. Um, probably not. let us uh, find your prey your, <laughs> your prey yes exactly um, as you guys go and hunt and are looking for this creature. I'm going to have everybody make... Um, this time it will either be survival or perception. Again, uh, because you guys... It, so. I know, because you guys are... Act well, it's the same stat. You guys are actively yeah. looking for um, yeah, the beast. Huh. 11. That's actually really good. <laughs> Yeah, nice array of numbers here. Let's see what this thing was. Eh, awful. Everyone. Uh, what's its bonus to that? Oh, no, everyone. Uh, <laughs> everyone eventually sees this creature. I'm going to move you back over to the map. And I've basically trimmed out a bit of this to for the sake of uh, arranging where you guys are. You guys are welcome to arrange yourself in this box. Um, and I will let you know that the creature is off in this direction. Well, as, I, yeah, as I describe it to you, okay? <laughs> um, let me just re replace myself over here. <laughs> I know, I know. People moved forward and then they immediately moved back. <laughs> I don't want to be at the forefront for that. So, as you guys begin to ac approach, you can see this thing, like, this massive creature prowling. Its claws digging into the dirt and, sp the dirt and splintering the wood of trees around it underneath its feet. Mm. It's got large horns that extend outward, almost like a... Uh, a giant beetle, in a way, with this ar almost armored-like head. And as you look closely at the at the head itself, it's got jagged teeth. It's large, muscular body filled with uh, 
uh, fill, is just filled to the brim with power as you see it pr- uh, prowling. Is this a behemoth? No. Um, so once again, this is uh, this is some artwork from uh, an unnamed source, and I don't know who they are, so I can't really use art artwork. Um, so there is a image going up in the Discord of what this thing looks like. Cool. Oh, oh. isn't that? Yeah, I was okay. I was thinking the Behemoth from uh, Final Fantasy 15, but that'll work too. That looks a lot like one of Garuk's monsters from Magic. That's, ex- that's exactly I it, what I was thinking. I think it's a Garuk's wildebeest, actually. I want to put that into the normal D&D tab, too. You want to go ahead and just repost uh, it for me? I, I, I do think that's Garuk's wildebeest. I mean, either way, I can't use it because it's copyrighted. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, but it looks cool. I'm thinking of the group's board card. Yeah, that's and what I was thinking. I'm of going too. to. I'm actually gonna now at this point turn off the fog of war because, um, you guys are arranged and I don't have to worry about it. Uh, and then I will make this creature available on the top. Oh, jeez. Big. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It is lo- It is very big. It, you might even call it huge. It is a oh. huge creature. The- Neat. Unless you guys want, unless you guys want yeah. to go over we're going to call it there for the night before we That's roll That's a good initiative. stopping point, yeah. I'm, go- I'm cool with that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, so. Enjoy! <laughs> so let's start Too planning our next... Let's start planning our next, our next set of characters. <laughs> <laughs> I still have one more casting of Banishment. <laughs> Are you sure you want to be there when it comes back? <laughs> it has a minute to kill. Save yeah. that as a last resort yeah, yeah. to make it go away, and then we run the opposite direction for the next minute. <laughs> I mean, for that, I also have Wall of Fire, but then the same level spell. I have a feeling it'll just walk right on through. Mm-hmm. It'll take a confuse- lot of damage. Maybe mm-hmm. I can confuse it though. But we'll see. We yeah, if it find walks out. through the wall of fire, wall of fire deals a lot. Of I, think five, I think it's five d eight. Yeah, it's like, it's like five d eight when it first appears. Five d eight if you try to walk through, and then it's five d eight if you're still within like ten feet of it. Uh, I think you think you have to be okay, in the wall, that, gotcha. but either way. Yeah. That was loud. Jeez. All righty. Uh, everyone, guys, thank you guys so much for coming out and checking out the stream tonight. Uh, I had a lot of fun. I don't know about y'all, but it. I had a blast. Uh, I'd say we'll have fun. <laughs> okay. We yeah. all. Oh, no, we all. We all. I heard wall. I, I just heard wall, and I'm like, what? You it's guys... wall with an E. N- no. Um, <laughs> but, like I said, I had a blast. Uh, I'm hoping that you guys... I, I thought we might get to this encounter tonight, but eh, I didn't know for sure. I always... We spent an hour on coffee. I know. I always forget... <laughs> I. I always right. do this though. I, I I'm always like, okay, they're gonna get through like this much, okay. and then I'm like, no, they're gonna get through like this much. No, they're gonna get through <laughs> this much, and then we get to the and then session. we come by and defy all expectations. Yeah. So literally, like pretty much everything you guys done did in this session, minus the coffee, I figured you guys would do in like the first half hour of the session. So 
Perfect. I mean, hey, we'll keep us full of content, right? Absolutely. At this rate, guys, we might see level 20 in the next 10 years. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right. Anyway, guys, um, don't forget to check out all of the other uh, videos. You can catch uh, those that uh, Twitch is letting me show you um, in the VODs. If you ha if you um, are unable to find the VODs uh, or videos that you need for uh, the VODs, uh, you can always find the... Duh, 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 duh. Where did it go? Uh, you can you can find all of the videos uh, uploaded on uh, YouTube, the Big Ripper YouTube channel. Uh, there is a link, maybe. There it goes. Okay, there is a link uh, that you can find and find all of the videos uh there is currently uh see this is episode 39 so yeah all 30 all previous 38 episodes are currently up there um and this video will get uploaded um sometime this weekend probably i'm gonna try and have it up by monday so you guys make sure you go check all that out all of my other videos are also on that youtube channel um and we will kind of play it by ear from there. Uh, this stream happens every Friday night. And I'm hoping to maybe get back into streaming if uh, my schedule dies down any. But uh, I'll keep you posted on that. And I'll make an announcements on that over on Twitter, which is also Big Ripper. You can find it at... Uh, I have I have a link. Everlink. Like that name, uh, Big Ripper. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Look, it was one of the names that I ha that I had forever ago. It was there. There's a Twitter link. Um, for my pre for some of my other stuff. Uh, what's the word? Gamer tags. That's the word I was looking for. And I just didn't feel like changing all of my gamer tag information. Um, so I just went with changing my or having my Twitch name and uh, Twitter name that. So I got lucky. But that is going to be it for me, guys. And I look forward to seeing everybody next week. I hope you guys all have a good one. Good night. Night, all. See you all. Hopefully.